Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you found me. My name is Mandy and I love everything vintage, antique, ironstone, stained ironstone, <laughs> and uh, old books. So that's like my weakness. But um, I wanted to make this new video for you since I'm feeling a lot better and I don't sound like a man anymore, thankfully, but the cough will not leave. So if you hear me coughing throughout this video, please forgive me. <laughs> um, I wanted to kind of show you um, all around where I went in the Missouri, St. Louis area thrifting and stay tuned for the end because I'm going to have an amazing haul for you guys. So I hope you enjoy this video. Stay tuned. Hey guys. So now we're all gassed up and we went to a lot of the antique stores couple days ago in Illinois. Now we are going to the antique stores. We're going to go to Chesterfield first and then we're going to um, go over to St. Charles where I used to work at the St. Louis Antique Mall and then we'll see where to go from there but stay tuned. Okay here we are at the Chesterfield Antique Mall. Let's go in and see what we can find. St. Charles Antique Mall. I've heard that I'm not going to find any stained ironstone here in Missouri. The last store owner told me that it's bare minimum, but we shall see.
guys, I had to share this with you. We're gonna walk in here and we're all gonna enjoy it. Oh my gosh, you guys, the smell. It smells like an old library. It smells so good. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is like heaven. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna stay here and smell the wonderful smells of books. I'm not seeing any Victorian binding, so. Thank you. My honey just found this. Look at that set, you guys. I can't. Can you hold this, babe? Score! And it comes with the sh sugar bowl, you guys. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Oh my goodness, you guys. So the first couple days I went to the Illinois, which that'll be another video, but Missouri, oh my gosh. Like it's been a while, it's been a while since I've been. And the first store that I went was, um, I think it was Chesterfield. And the owner there was like, St. Ironstone, you're, you're not gonna find anything like that around here. And I was like, so defeated. I was like, oh no, you know. <laughs> And then another thing I was on the hunt for was the Santa mugs because I am so far behind on the Santa mug craze right now, which I'm hoping hopefully that everyone gets rid of theirs <laughs> like in the summertime. I'm going to start looking in summer. So hopefully I find some, but I hit pretty good stuff, you guys. So I split it up into two parts because I have an Illinois haul and then now this is going to be my Missouri haul. And yeah, well, let's get started. So first two things that I got are these little stocking stuffer holders or stocking holders. They're vintage little Santas. So I got two of those. 
And I got two little Santa mugs. They're the mini ones. And then these I got in a set. So I only have four right now. I have the other ones around the house. So I think I got seven of these. Let me see here. And these are the Howard ones. They still have their stickers on them. The small ones, and here's the other two. They are crazed all over. These I paid up for. I was planning on selling them, but now I'm keeping them. <laughs> Look at the crazing on him. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just amazing. So I'm a little late, so now I finally have my little mini Santa mug, so that's that. So that's all the Christmas that I found. Um, well, actually, I did order this one. So this one was on a, this is one of my newest, I had to throw him in. Look how stained he is. I ordered him off of um, Instagram live sale. This is the kind that I'm looking for. <laughs> Because my house is very neutral and sometimes I have a little pop of color, which I have this one here, but he's like missing a lot of paint. So yeah, but this is the one kind I'm looking for. So if you guys see any of these, please let me know. But I got him. I think he was like 30. I know these are really pricey. He does have like an orange stain, but y'all know me. No one wanted him. So I took him. I was like, you're, you're not defected. You're okay. I'm going to love you. Y'all know I like the ones that no one else wants, right? It's like when I told my mom when I was a little girl, I want the ugliest horse in the world because no one else would want it. But I would. I would love it. <laughs> but anyway, back to the haul. I got this little soap dish, blue transfer wear. Double stamped. That was really pretty. I got this bowl. So I have this is a little chunky bowl. I've never seen one like this. There's the stamp. It's got green transfer wear all over. And then look, it's like a dairy farm. Have you guys seen these? Just stained, beautiful chunky ironstone bowl. About the size of my head. I thought that was kind of cool. These, a lot of these are going to be on my live, my next live sale. I'm going live with Monta on um, Friday, actually this Friday, Friday the 9th. So you guys, if you're interested in any of these, not the Santa mugs, <laughs> but if you're interested in any of these, you got to stay tuned in for Friday at 5 p.m. or 5.30 p.m. Central Time. So go to my Instagram and you can purchase any of these. So the next piece that I got was this stained and crazed little creamer pitcher. Look at that. So I think the first one I went to was Chesterfield, which I got the Santa mugs and Santa stuff. And then I went to, I forget which one it was. Another one farther away. And like every store was like, 30 minutes away but um this is where I found all the stain stuff and I was <coughs> like amazed I couldn't believe it and my husband you guys I took my husband with me because he's like I don't want you going alone so he went with me he found most of the stain stuff can you believe that he was like I'm like honey I need to hire you as like my my uh assistant like you could be like my manager and you can just go shopping for me. I'm like, you're doing a really good job. You started laughing. I was like, no, seriously. So he found, so I found this one, but he found this stained. It's a little shaving cup. Look at that. And it comes with a brush. There's the inside. It has like the soap inside too. So you can just like get it wet and then But he found that. Hey, Gracie. Sorry, that's my dogs. But he found that one. I thought that was kind of cool. 
he found, wait for it. Look at the staining and crazing on this piece. And these will be for sale. Look at that. So here's this. This is the creamer and sugar bowl set. And they're both stained. Stained and crazed. Look at that. You guys. He's like, honey, what about this? Come here. I was like, oh my gosh, honey. And it comes with the lid. There's the inside. He did such an amazing job. He's such a good sport. Because usually I'm like, I'm really picky. But I was like, dang, honey. So then I found this piece. Because you guys know that I already have. I already have this one. So look, it matches. But y'all know how I store things and show it is the opposite way because I love the plain stained. So this one I might be selling or I might be keeping. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> we shall see, right? But that was an awesome find. Still has the cork. So that was kind of cool. Okay, what else? So my next, my husband found this piece. So I've already sold um, a cookie jar like this. This one is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the staining and crazing on him. Isn't that amazing? The blue details with the lid. Look at the lid. All that staining and beautiness. There's the bottom. Made in Japan. When I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, honey. Like, you're on a roll. Isn't that beautiful? Here's the lid. No cracks, chips. It's just amazing. So he will be available. And it comes with this little, little um, handle. Isn't that adorable? It's about this big. So he will be available. So my most favorite find. You I'm still deciding if I'm going to keep this. Okay. But this I paid up for. I paid a lot. Of, my husband's like, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to pay that. I'm like, yeah, because it's the only like really stained piece that I've found so far. Right. Look at this beauty. There were, she had stained platters too, but y'all know I'm trying to get away from the platters. I'm not, I have so many platters, if you can't tell. Look at those. <laughs> but for me, shipping platters, it's, it's a lot and it costs a lot. And it's just frustrating because I'm, I'm, everyone that I've shipped has made it perfectly fine, but it always just makes my anxiety so bad. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I hope it makes it, but look at this piece. Oh my goodness. Isn't that just gorgeous? So it's big. Bigger than my head. I did pay up for this piece, so I'm, tr I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to sell it or not. What do you guys think? <laughs> Should I keep it? Would it be beautiful? Just like right inside there. It could be the bottom piece, right? But yeah, but that's my haul. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed this and stay tuned for the Illinois haul. That one will be probably, I'm going to probably upload that one the, um, next week. I have a other video coming out soon too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and please let me know down below what your favorite find was so far. And if you guys are able to come see me on Instagram this Friday at 5 p.m. Central, I'm going to have a live sale with all these goodies for sale. Um, me and Manta, Manta's 
vintage journey she just changed her name so go give her a follow too because she's got some always amazing deals you guys and she's actually coming out with her own website for stuff for sale so yes but whatever doesn't sell on my our live sale will be going to my etsy shop i do have an etsy actually the sale just ended but please let me know if you guys missed anything and if nothing other uh, other stuff doesn't sell i'll be posting on my etsy afterwards i hope you guys have a good one Bye.